Welcome back. In our top business story, Dubai hotels witnessed increases in occupancy and revenue per available room in July, boosted by Eid al-Fitr festivities. According to new data from industry analyst STR, hotels in the Emirate saw occupancy jump by 17.6% to 67.5%, while RevPAR rose by 7.5%, to 365.08 dirhams. Average daily rates, or ADR, however, dropped 8.6% to 540.60 540, dirhams. SDR said in a statement that the market's demand was up 24.6% year over year with a lift from Eid al Fitr festivities. At the sub-market level, the highest uh, absolute, absolute occupancy levels were reported in Palm Jumeirah at 74.9% and the Dira and airport area at 72%. It added that ADR in the city continues to be affected by new supply, which rose by 5.9% in July. Regionally, hotels in the Middle East reported mixed results in July. Compared to July 2015, the Middle East recorded a 4.8% rise in occupancy to 58%. However, ADR was down 15.9% to $161.82 and REVPAR fell 11.9% to $93.88. A new report from Deloitte has suggested that the Middle East offers further growth potential for luxury retailers, while the global market is set to see a slowdown. Deloitte's Global Powers of Luxury Goods 2016 Disciplined Innovation Report said luxury malls in Dubai and Abu Dhabi will continue to put the UAE high on the map for top-end retail firms in the coming years. It added that big-name brands perform well in the region, with tourism a major driver of sales in Dubai. Although the region is likely to feel the impact of political unrest as well as global economic uncertainty, further growth is expected overall. The report said that globally the growth rate is slowing in important markets such as China and Russia, although some markets continue to perform well and there are pockets of opportunity across the globe, including the Middle East, India and Mexico. According to the report, the world's 100 largest luxury goods companies generated sales of $222 billion in financial year 2014, 3.6% higher year-on-year. Year. The average luxury goods annual sales for a top 100 company is now $2.2 billion. Italy was named the leading luxury goods country in terms of number of companies, with 29 companies in the top 100 more than double the number based in the U.S., which has the second largest number. Banks are forecast to face tougher times ahead as consumers are making less cash deposits while business and government loans are slowing down amid lower oil prices. The percentage of time deposits to the aggregate cash savings held by banking customers in the UAE has been on a decline in recent years, according to local reports, while non-consumption lending activity has been sluggish. The report stated that money held in time deposit accounts accounted for 52% of the total consumer savings in 2007, but by 2015 the figure dwindled to 28%, indicating that people are either putting their money somewhere else or are strapped for cash. At the same time, the pace at which loans are growing has also been slow, with banks now getting more prudent in lending to businesses amid poor corporate earnings, slower salary adjustments and employment cuts. Ratings agency Standard & Poor's had earlier forecast that UAE banks will see negative earnings growth this year and lackluster performance in 2017. A new report released by accounting and advisory firm Crow Horwath has shown an increasing trend for job applicants for, to falsify aspects of their skills and background when applying for jobs. Background checks in 2015 showed a higher than average rate of discrepancies between resumes and applicants' actual skills on ba or background, with almost 18% of all background checks on job applicants or applications in 2015 across different countries showed inconsistencies. 
This was largely driven by job seekers' temptation to beat competition in job markets that include India, Philippines, Nigeria, USA, UK, Pakistan, Egypt, and Oman. Employment history and education were the major components where employers found glaring inconsistencies and accounted for 69% and 19% respectively of the all discrepancies. These inconsistencies included incorrect information on the institution of education, qualification, or grade received, manipulation in dates of employment, inaccurate job titles and wages, and even submission of false or forged documents. More worrying, the study found that 60% of inconsistencies were listed as major discrepancies, while the remaining 40% were minor discrepancies.